so working environment the what is the meaning of the environment in the tecla means the environment means region specific setting and information so you can see the snap over here uh, it's a pop up window when you are re uh, opening the tecla software and you will see the environment uh, tab over there so in the pull down menu you will get uh, I mean, almost they have all the countries. Uh, you can see I have mentioned over here the environments available in Tecla structure are default environment, Australia, Australia, Brazil, and I mean, lot of countries are there. So, uh, basically, now what kind of standard you are using? Uh, while you are doing the AutoCAD detailing. So what kind of standards you are uh, using over there? It's a, uh, I mean, Indian standard or US standard or UK standard. AISC. So it's a US standard, right? Yes, US standard. Yeah. So basically that is, that's what. So these are the standards only from the other, uh, other countries also. So they have each and every standard in their uh, database. So basically what it defines uh, the as per the country wise the standards are different so the, the, the profiles, the material grades, the values, the connection, variables, reports and templates it's everything different in, in each and every uh, country standards. So that is what basically is a working environment. So did you understand what is the environment means? Yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay, no. you, you can ask me also if, if you have any doubt or something. Okay, sir. Uh, immediately, so no problem. Feel free to ask any kind of question, no problem. Um, All right. Yeah. So basically the second tab you can see also there is a role. In the role actually you will come to see uh, what kind of detailing you are going to use. Like if I, this is a pull down menu. Uh, menu. Uh, once you pull down you will get the options like steel detailing or uh, concrete detailing or architecture or uh, many more I mean. Uh, and uh, also configuration also. So this is the shortcut menu of the class structure. So now I'm opening that uh, software. So see, uh, so this is the you will get pop-up window when you are uh, double-clicking on that uh, shortcut menu. So this is the environment tab. Uh, right now I haven't installed all the environment. I have the default environment, US Imperial, US Metric. But when you are installing the software, it will it will give you all the options which I shown you. These countries like uh, Australia, France, Germany, Greece, Norway. I mean, a lot of countries are there. So it's basically in which country you are uh, working or uh, uh, what kind of standard you are going to use it's depend on that so you can install that uh, environment so this is the role in the pull down menu you can see cast in place, contractor, engineering, precast detailing, steel detailing and many more are there but I have installed uh, these are the things main things so basically we are going to use uh, steel detailing Then the configuration, I mean what kind of, uh, for what kind of purpose, I mean you are using this Tecla software. So that is the configuration mean. So are you the project viewer or a drafter or a manager, construction modeling or engineer, cast in place. So many more options are there for the educational purpose, developer purpose. So you can 
take that license as per the, your requirement and you can start work over here. So once you set this all the options as per your requirement, you have to click OK. The first time it will take a little time. Okay. So this is a basically pop-up window will come up when you open the particular software. Are you able to see? Okay, so this is the uh, basically the pop-up window will come out when you open the software. So let's turn to the, this. So are you understand how to open this Tecla software, or did I did you want to show me again? Yes, sir. Uh, you both are getting how to open the software? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay. So, basically, uh, Tecla, you can use single and as far as in the group also. So, if you are using in a single mode that they call a single user, are using in the group or if you have any many licenses so they call the multi-user so basically in this slide you can see how to open Tecla model in single and multi-user to open a single user model it's a simple thing Once you open the model, there is, you can see here model type. Okay, so there is only one uh, person is there, the symbol is there, so it's in the single user. And the same thing if you want to use in a multi-user. So you have to right click on this and that will pop up, open as a multi-user model. Okay, so basically when the multi-user model they are using, I can tell you, like in the big companies, if they are having the big projects, so they are having the many licenses, like uh, right now we have the more than 25 licenses, so what they will basically do, they will keep a separate uh, model and they will keep separate a server. So. Anyway, we will get into that uh, presentation also, but uh, the idea is to tell that in this slide how to open the multi-user model. So it's very easy and you can identify easily if it's a symbol of one person, it's in the single user and if it's in the, uh, if you want to open it as a multi-user, you can just right click and it will pop up and it will ask you whether uh, open as a multi-user model. So this is the basic thing. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the same thing which I told you under the server name. When once you open as a multi-user, it will ask you the server name. I can show you. See, it will it will ask you the server name. Uh, that will open the one pop-up and then you have to give the server name. Maybe you are administrator, uh, this is administrator part actually, but I am giving you the idea for the software. Okay. Uh, okay. So they will provide you all these settings and uh, they will be uh, responsible for these things. And, uh, So once you have given the name, you can able to open the model in multi-user. You can switch anytime single to multi-user and vice versa. But when you are uh, using in the multi-user, you should not use in a single user model. 
so keep it in that mind because that is very important point okay so this is how the multi user system so you can see here uh, in a one off system they have kept it one master model and one off system they have kept it a tecla structure server so from that uh, basically what is the tecla structure server tecla structure server means uh, it's a background it's a pop up window which plays all the background data for the model to use the data how many users are connected to that uh, master model so basically that is the tecla structure server and uh, the main model they will keep it separately so from there they can access to each and every server so like uh, the tecla client uh, if they want to access for you or that master model they can also uh, access that model even uh, the other users also so at the same time you can use that as a uh, master model 